usiku huu hamna kazi nyingine isipokuwa kuchumbika tu asante sana Actually, I also am very much interested in this edition, the 10th edition. You see, this has been manifested through the accommodation, the way you have all teams accommodated in one place. So they interact in the games, they interact in where they, where they sleep, where they feed. Very wonderful, very wonderful. <laughs> Games aim at strengthening the friendship and unity of purpose amongst the armies of the region in addition to the various courses and training sessions dispensed by partner states to each other. Were attended by only four partner states, Burundi was unable to attend after requesting for the games to be postponed to allow them more time to prepare, as it was explained during the press conference. <laughs> imikino yakwigizwa yo ngo babanze bitegure uko bigenda nuko mu gihugu kimwe kibisabye ibintu bibigo biraterana bikaba byakwemera icyo kifuzo cyangwa bikavuga bati bitudukomeze uko mbizi rero nuko ibihugu bindi uko ari bine byavuze ko uko imikino yari yarateguwe kuzaba iki gihe ikwiye gukomeza ikaba icyo gihe the opening ceremony of the East African Community Military Games was held on Monday, August 8, 2016, in Amahoro Stadium in Remera, Kigali, Rwanda. Four military contingents from Rwanda, Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania paraded before the guests, followed by the Rwanda National Ballet in a very beautiful display highlighting the cultures of the five member states of the East African Community.
the guest of honor, may I have permission to march off the parade, sir? Wow, the drums of Africa are powerful. They speak with blood. They speak with your heart and soul. I'm proud of the African.
So I will uh, respectfully invite the host, nation chairman of the organizing committee, Brigadier General Ferdinand Safari. Sir. On behalf of the organizing committee, I would like to express my sincere thanks to the government of Rwanda for hosting this 10th edition of East Africa Community Military Games and Cultural Event 216. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, this event is the culmination of a collective effort which began last year in Kampala, Uganda, when the East African community flag was handed over to the chief of defense staff, Uganda Defense Forces, as a sign that Uganda will host 216 event. So from that moment, the wheels started rolling and a number of planning conferences took place here in Kigali. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of dedicated colleagues from Kenya, from Tanzania, from Uganda, and the East African Community Secretariat. In my capacity as the chair of the organizing committee, I want to assure you, sir, that you are set for a remarkable event. The CDA, sir. Let me take this opportunity once again to reiterate our commitment and readiness to implement our Commanders-in-Chief's vision of building and sustaining a peaceful and secure East African region through cooperation in defense within the ESC partner states. As defense forces of ESC partner states, our primary mission is to guarantee peace and security to our people. The activities enshrined in the Protocol on Cooperation and Defense matters, such as the military games, joint military exercises, and military training exchange programs, aim at strengthening the bond of comradeship among our defense forces. This year's 10th ESC military games and cultural event held here in Kigali is yet another milestone. For the next two weeks, our teams will play together, live together, and share the joys and triumphs of the games as one people with one destiny. These activities go a long way in enhancing this cooperation. Since the first ESC military games and cultural event was held in Kampala in 2005, activities to enhance cooperation have grown from strength to strength. This year, we are pleased to host about 500 sportsmen and who for the next two weeks will compete in various sport disciplines. On and off the field, our defense teams will build an everlasting bond of brotherhood that will further confidence building as a region of one people and one destiny. Let me conclude again by welcoming you to Rwanda. As your hosts, the Rwanda Defense Force reiterates its commitment to providing the facilitation and support necessary to ensure your comfortable stay in Rwanda and effective participation in these games. I wish all the teams successful performance, after which everyone will be a winner. I would like now to invite the EAC Deputy Secretary General in charge of Political Federation for his remarks. Let me first of all 
our guests of honor, express our appreciation for your presence on this occasion of opening of the 10th ESC Meta Games and Cultural Event being held in this magnificent Amaharo National Stadium under the theme, One People, One Destiny, ESC Meta Games and Cultural Event 2016. On behalf of the East Africa community, and on my own behalf, I wish to thank you, the government and the people of Rwanda, for the warm hospitality, excellent facilities that have been put at the disposal of our armed forces to stage these games and cultural activities. Our guest of honor, the ESC Military Games and Cultural Event is organized within the ESC framework for cooperation in defense in accordance with Article 125 of the treaty, which include, among others, cultural exchanges and sports competitions to enhance cooperation and spirit of comradeship among different forces of the East Africa community. The main objective of the Games is to foster esprit de corps and solidarity among different forces of our countries. It is also aimed at promoting activities, contribute towards harmonious development of sports and culture in the region and to the regional international effort for universal peace. I'm grateful, I'm gratified to note that the implementation of this protocol in defense has been one of the most successful and exemplary program within the region. The presence of the chiefs of defense forces, the service commanders, the general officers, the defense liaison officers, and the members of the armed forces contingents of the ESC partner states as well as the ordinary citizens in this stadium today demonstrates that the vision of our founding fathers of one people, one destiny can, can and will be achieved. In his opening remarks, Rwanda's Minister of Defense, General James Kabarebe, insisted that the Games would highlight the desired unity of purpose and shared vision of the leadership of the Pondo States. It is an honor and privilege for Rwanda to host the 10th ESC Military Games and Culture event in Kigali. Like, like previous military games and cultural events that have preceded this one, this ESC Military Games marks yet another milestone in attainment of common commitment in the pursuit of our leaders' vision and aspirations for a prosperous and secure East African region. Our leaders envisioned a future of the East African community as a region of one people, one destiny. This theme embodies the common hopes and aspirations of our people. A future where the region enjoys prosperity, peace, and security. I take this opportunity to thank the, the defense leaders from ESC member states for relentless pursuit of this vision and for making the ESC cooperation in defense matters a priority among activities of the respective defense forces in the ESC partner states. Preparing and equipping the sports teams from our sister defense forces to participate in the games and cultural activities for the next two weeks is a major commitment requiring organization, resources, and dedication. We thank you most sincerely for the resounding commitment to advancement of comradeship and the spirit of corps within our defense forces. I take the opportunity to thank the planning teams from the partner states and the ESC Secretariat for working tirelessly in successful planning and organization of the 10th ESC Military Games and Cultural Event. I want to assure you that Rwanda will play its part in ensuring successful hosting 
of this event. I also take this opportunity to thank our distinguished sportsmen and women who for the next two weeks will exhibit great sportsmanship in the various sports categories. I would also like to invite you to visit different parts of Rwanda and to experience the Rwandans' warm hospitality and welcome to their East African brothers and sisters. I wish you all successful games, and I hereby declare the 10th ESC Military Games and Cultural Event 2016 officially open. I thank you. The 10th EAC Military Games started with a football match between the Rwanda Defense Forces, RDF, and the Kenya Defense Forces, KDF, a game that was officially launched by Rwanda Senate President, the Honorable Bernard Makuza. Yeah. This time around, the RDF team was met with less fortune. Following a failure to communicate between defenders Usengibana Fusta Rugwiro Erve and the goalkeeper Mvuyekure Emery on a pass from Onyango Samuel converted into the first goal of the tournament by Mohamed Hassan. For the final game on Wednesday, the 17th of August, 2016, the RDF football team had to defeat Tanzania by a large margin to be able to reclaim the goal in another face-off with Kenya. RDF opened the score against Tanzania at the 35th minute on a corner kick from Nienzi Gawofisto, converted into a goal by Usain Gibana Foster, who scored with his head. Despite their best efforts, the RDF team failed to find the back of Tanzania's net by the end of this game. Rwanda and Kenya had both 
have accumulated six points with a two goals advantage. In the end, Kenya went home with the gold after defeating Rwanda. Tanzania went home with the bronze and Uganda secured the fourth place. Habjari Mana Inusa of RDF was awarded top scorer of the game, while his teammate was honored with a best player of the game award. Uh, we've had a very good time in Rwanda. Uh, first of all, we thank God for having such an opportunity. And um, I must say that uh, my team has had a uh, wonderful reception from the host uh, people and we've had a good time and support from them. We have uh, really had a good time together, uh, all the participants from the East African um, community countries. We have had the opportunity to make friends. We have interacted and we have uh, learned the weak and strong points of each other. This was um, a very good theme. Uh, one people, one destiny. As a region and uh, as a, a military of the region, it is very important that uh, we, we, we journey together as one people so that uh, in case of any security issues uh, in future um, and uh, we are given a task as a region, we can easily handle it because we know the strong and weak points of each other. During the games, both players and leaders found time to visit various sites in Rwanda and were given an overview of the history of Rwanda during their visit to the Jisozi Genocide Memorial on August 15, 2016. They took the opportunity to pay their respects to the victims of the genocide buried at the memorial. The over 500 delegates of the four attending partner states also had the opportunity to visit four separate times the Kigali Special Economic Zone. Delegation leaders paid a visit to Karonji district and were taken to see the Kivu Wat methane gas plant using RDF speedboats. This team, led by RDF Army Chief of Staff Major General Jacques Musemakweri, included Lieutenant General Charles Angina, UPDF Deputy Chief of Defense Staff, and Inspector General Lieutenant General Vanance Mabeyo, TPDF Chief of Staff and Commander of Land Forces. Major General Samuel Wesonga Nandua, KDF Assistant Chief of Defense Forces. In basketball, unlike football, Team Rwanda was off to a good start, beating Tanzania in the first game 78-64. to Rwanda was dominating 14 points to 12 in the first quarter, 33 points by the second quarter, and by the third quarter, RDF was hardly two points up on its opponents with a score of 56 to 54. By the end of the fourth quarter, though, the gap had widened with a final score of 78 to 64. <laughs> this game came following the win of Kenya over Uganda, 69 to 51, at Petit Stade in Remera on August 10, 2016. On Sunday. August 14, 2016, the RDF basketball team secured its second win, beating Uganda 67-63, while Tanzania overpowered Kenya 77-64. The determinant game for the gold was to be between Rwanda and Kenya, winners of both games they played at Amahoro Stadium on August 14, 2016. By the end of the first quarter, Rwanda was dominating 12 to 10, but Kenya came back with a vengeance in the second quarter, scoring 37 to 27. Kenya pushed hard for a win over Rwanda, as it was the case in football, and ended the third quarter with a win of 61 to 49. But this was without counting on the resilience of Team Rwanda that never relented in the face of adversity, ending the game with an astounding win of 75-70 to 70 and securing the gold by winning all the games they played. Unfortunately for Tanzania, this was not to be the case as they were unable to win any of the games they played in the 10th edition of the EAC military games. They were heavily defeated on their last game against Uganda, 73-57. to 57. Rwanda won the gold with six points, followed by Kenya with five points, Uganda with four, and three for Tanzania. 
The third gold medal Rwanda had brought back from Uganda back in 2015 was in handball. All the games took place at Amahoro Stadium in Remera. Kenya opened the games with a win over Tanzania, scoring 43 to 35, thanks to Kipurangat, while Rwanda struggled to overpower Tanzania 27 to 24 on August 10, 2016. On the second day of the handball tournament, Tanzania turned the tide by beating Uganda 24 to 23. On the following day, August 13, 2016, Rwanda lost to Uganda 30 to 26, losing along the way any hopes of reclaiming the gold. Kenya fared well in the second game, beating Tanzania 25 to 16, with Kipurangat scoring multiple goals for KPDF and earning him the selection as most valuable player of the game. The KPDF team secured the gold on their third match against Rwanda, winning by 32 to 26. This is the second gold medal won by Kenya in Kigali. Kenya took home the gold with an impressive six points out of six, followed by Uganda with five points and a five goals deficit. Rwanda came in third with two points and a seven goals deficit alongside Tanzania that scored the same amount of points but had an 11 goals deficit. Back in 2015 in the Kampala Games, the gold had been secured by Uganda while Kenya came in second. Netball is one of the games played by the women as well as athletics. The sitting champions, Uganda, were surprised by Team Tanzania that wanted to unseat them and served them a defeat of 29-27, to while Rwanda, that came in fourth in 2015, was defeated 43-22 to by the 2015 silver medalist Kenya. The gods of netball didn't smile upon Rwanda this year. After suffering yet another defeat in the second game against Tanzania, 56-13, to as well as their last game against Uganda, 62-24. No! Tanzania emerged victorious by defeating Kenya, 39-33, to while KPDF failed to reclaim the second place, lost to Uganda after being defeated, 55-43. to Tanzania took the gold with six points. Uganda came in second with four points. Kenya with two, and Rwanda came in fourth place. In the military, be it in Uganda, in Tanzania, in Kenya, or elsewhere in the military, we are really uh, very much keen on gender sensitivity. And uh, uh, women actually in these specific games of tense edition participated only in two disciplines out of five. That's for country and uh, netball. But their level of performance was really amazing. And uh, they displayed a kind of uh, competition, competitiveness. They worked very hard. The 10-kilometer cross-country race, Kenya managed to reclaim the gold in both men and women categories. In fact, the Kenyan team secured the five leading places on the men's side. The gold going to Emmanuel Kipsang with 27 minutes, 15.68 seconds, followed by Franklin Ngarel with 27 minutes and 16.10 seconds, while the bronze medal went to Stephen Arita, who ran the 10-kilometer race in 27 minutes, 17 seconds, point 15. The nearest Rwandan runner was Nzilo de la Joseph, who came in 8th with a time of 28 minutes and 20 seconds. In the women category, the first three places were claimed by Kenya. The medals awarded to the winners were given out by Major General Mubaraka Muganga to Sheila Chepkurui, who won the gold with a time of 31 minutes, 17.18 seconds, followed by Jocelyn Jepkosgei for silver, who ran 30 minutes and 17.98 seconds, while the bronze medal went to Judy Chemutai, who ran 31 minutes, 31 seconds, and 2800 of a second. The closest Rwandan runner was Iranzi Selim, who came in 12th with a time of 33 minutes and 25.32 seconds. These races took place at the Kitrutilo Stadium. Even though every participant aims for a win, the real aim of the EAC military games is to build trust amongst the armies of the region, foster friendship, and showcase the cultures of the partner states.
Nashukuru sana kwa kutukaribisha na ya pili nashukuru sana tena kwa uwanja ilikuwa mzuri na asante tena kwa interaction yenye tumekuwa na na hao watu wa Rwanda asanteni sana August 15 2016 was the chosen date to do the letter namely showcasing the different cultures of the countries that attended these games in the spirit of oneness and a chance to be reminded of the different objectives of having such games since 2005 Major Magola of Uganda emphasizes that the goal of these games is to work towards better regional integration for the citizens of the East African community and insists this will take time. Integration is a very long process. But as far as we are concerned, ours is basically on defense cooperation. Uh, therefore, I feel in my as you heard from the speeches on our part as defense through military games we've had cooperation because several teams several contingents have been staying in one village in one particular sports area at the University of Rwanda and that interaction in a friendly way not at war at peace has given us a very good experience and i believe we're on the right track after two weeks in Rwanda on August 17 2016 at the Amahora Stadium in Rwanda the East African Community Military Games finally came to an end in a closing ceremony before army chiefs of staff from the countries that attended them the Kenyan cabinet secretary for defense ambassador Rachel Omamo Uganda's state minister for defense retired colonel Charles Okello Ngola and the deputy East African Community secretary general in charge of political federation Mr Charles Njoroge Mr. Charles Njoroge took the opportunity to thank Rwanda for successfully hosting the games and for the number of Rwandans who attended them and insisted that these proved once again the good existing relations between the armies of the partner states of the East African community. Finally, permit me to congratulate the outstanding teams that will be awarded or have been awarded medals and trophies for their outstanding performance. I wish to thank all the players for the sportsmen and women for the good sportsmanship and discipline they have exhibited during these games and the cultural activities which have further contributed to strengthening the cause of the East Africa unity 
and comradeship within our armed forces. With these few remarks, I wish you all a safe journey back home and happy reunion, reunion with your families. Thank you for your kind attention and God bless you. Asante. Rwanda's Minister of Defense, General James Kabarebe, who was the guest of honor in the closing ceremony, thanked those who attended the games, the organizers for the flawless execution, as well as the athletes for whom the flags of the partner states floated in the Rwandan sky. We saw firsthand the realization of relentless pursuit of sportsmanship in a manner uniquely representative of the spirit of this year's theme one people, one destiny, through ESC military games and cultural event 2016. I take this opportunity to congratulate all participants. Through your exceptional talent and hard work, you spent every bit of your energy from training sessions through the competitions to make the 10th ESC military games and cultural event a success we are witnessing today. With these few remarks, it is my distinguished pleasure and honor to declare the 10th ESC Military Games and Cultural Events that have been going on here in Kigali officially closed. The Defense Forces of the Partner States of the East African Community have been sharing in their knowledge and experiences through mutual training programs and courses, as it was highlighted by General Patrick Nyamvumba, who insisted that the unity displayed in the games is a testament to the way they handle themselves on a professional level. The East African Community Military Games were a great opportunity to mingle, share fun times, and showcase each other's culture while aiming for a win. Chief of Defense Staff General Patrick Nyamvumba then proceeded to hand over the flag of the East African community to his Tanzanian counterpart, TPDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Venance Mabeo. I think I must say that uh, we are very impressed by the organization. We've seen the, the hospitality of the Luanda people. The accommodation is superb. We're very, very happy. And generally the feeding, the transport, we are very impressed. And uh, we promise when Rwanda come to Kenya, we'll do the same. We're very happy. One people, one destiny. Pleasure to invite our guest of honor, Honorable Rwandan Minister of Defense, for his concluding remarks. Our guest of honor, sir. Nashukuru wa yo anda vizuri mashinda do haya ya kusisimua na kuflaisha watazamaji. Michezo ni flaha sana. Ningependa sisi sote kwa pamoja tushirikiane kuimarisha zaidi mashindano haya. Tudumishe upendo na ushirikiano kwenye majeshi yetu. May I now request you all to join me in a toast to the health of our defense forces, our relationships, and also to the well-being of our people and the region. Siku huu hamuna kazi ingine usipokuwa kugurudika tu. Asante sana.